What is going on you guys? Welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. As always, thank you for clicking in. I really appreciate it. Today, I got a fun one for you. I'm going to be explaining how I manage my household chores and tasks uh, using Notion, all right? So before we get into it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like button, notification bell, all that good stuff. It really helps me and the channel out. And I greatly appreciate you being here and I greatly appreciate you doing that. So without further ado, let's get into it, all right? So I use Notion on a daily basis. Um, in a prior video uh, that I'll link down below, I have made or I've made a video about how I track my habits and how I keep a journal. And now today we're going to talk about how I keep track of my household chores. So that's cleaning, washing, laundry, you know, all that kind of stuff. And we'll get into it, okay? But the reason I really like this system is that it keeps me on top of things and things don't get super dirty where they need a deep clean all of a sudden right and i'm doing these things weekly or bi-weekly or every month um, and i'm able to stay on top of things like i said and i think it's really beneficial to do that because then when you're doing your household chores none of them are that hard right they just they take a few minutes five minutes max for a lot of them and then you're done right so we're gonna hop into it and uh, i'll explain everything and how to adjust it and this will be um down below there will be a link for it and it will be uh, so that you can duplicate it and you can adjust it to your heart's desire um, and add any of the tasks that you want. You can keep some of the example ones that I have in it, but feel free to adjust it and make it yours and let me know how it goes once you do that. All right, so here we are in Notion, okay? You have household chores template and these are just some examples that we're gonna talk about today, okay? But basically, just to give you the quick rundown, you have whatever the task is right here. I like to break it down by room. Uh, here's the date that I last did these things. The status, it says, well, these are due in two days, which means I have to do them on Saturday. And then these ones are done. Done means that uh, you have more than seven days before you have to do it again. Um, and then here you have due the, the next date that you're gonna do them. And then here's a reminder. And then here is a frequency, okay? So I'm gonna run through two examples because there's two ways to input uh, new tasks that, um, that you're gonna be doing, okay? So here, first way we're gonna do is you're gonna click on this new and say you want to water the grass, right? And that's not in a room, but we'll call it outside, okay? So you just go uh, column by column and say last done. Say it's today I'm recording this on April 6th, so say today I watered the grass. So you click on that, and you ignore these for a second. These are formulas, you can tell by the Sigma logo. These are pulling data and spitting out what they think is right, but these are not correct yet. Okay, what you're actually gonna do after you fill this one out, you're gonna go to the frequency, and for this example, say you wanna water the grass once a week, which might not be enough in, Wherever you are, in California, it's not enough. But anyways, um, weekly, okay? And so if you noticed, this changed. Uh, this changed to April 9th. I forget what it was before that, but the, our, la our last... Oh, no. Okay, this is a good teaching moment. I changed it to weekly, and then there are sorts going on here. So this uh, sheet is sorted in a specific way, and now we're our water grass has moved down to here, okay? So now, we have our last done April 6th right here, and we said we wanted to do it weekly, so the formula knew seven days later is when you should do it next, okay? So be cognizant of where the task goes on the sheet because it is auto-sorted, okay? But the I'll show you another way to do it, which is less confusing, um, but we'll finish this example first, okay? And so the last thing we have to fill in is a reminder. And so down here, this little blurb right here, step two, add a reminder. And this is telling you exactly what to type. So you're literally gonna type the at sign, remind, put a date, a time, and AM or PM. So we're gonna do that. You're gonna click in here. You can click at, and I know it's a magnifying glass right now, but it'll change into an at sign. You're gonna type in remind, and then uh, this due next date is when we want the reminder. So we're going to type in April 13, 2022. And then you can literally write the word at and say you want it at 10 a.m. You just 
do that and you hit enter and now it knows that next Wednesday is April 13th and at 10 a.m. it's going to remind you to water the grass oops all right so that's pretty cool right now let's go through one more example that is a little more simple um, we're gonna go here and say say you want to vacuum every two weeks so we're gonna type in vacuum hit enter now the way we're gonna do this one is we're gonna open this we're gonna open it as a page that way we don't get all confused with the sorting so vacuum say you want to vacuum the entire house okay you can assign it to somebody if you want I'm the only one in my house so I don't do that um, frequency we said that we wanted to do it every two weeks okay that's bi-weekly and so I should have said earlier um, these are pretty self-explanatory but it took me a little to get used to so daily weekly every two weeks every once a month seasonal seasonally means uh, quarterly so every three months which I wanted to change it to say quarterly but then the formulas got all messed up and so I, I just left it but seasonally is every three months semi-annually is uh, twice a year so every six months and annually obviously is once a year okay so back to our example vacuum every two weeks we're gonna call it bi-weekly okay and say say our last time we vacuumed was Sunday April 3rd okay so that means we're gonna want it to remind us on April 17th because we're doing it every two weeks okay so our reminder and again you can get that date from here also as well at remind April 17th 2022 at whatever time you want we're gonna say 10 a.m. oh it didn't work hold on let's see at remind April yeah type things right 2022 at 10 a.m. there you go now it knows okay and then you click out of this and then you can see vacuum the entire house I did it last on April 3rd now I want to do it again on April 17th now I got a reminder for that and it's just good to know that you're doing these types of things every two weeks okay um, so some of these examples like wash clothes uh, I have it that, you, that I do them weekly uh, clean the toilet bi-weekly um, other things like clean out the fridge I have that monthly and then the other thing I wanted to point out too is like I have this update Wi-Fi router firmware which is not a household like cleaning chore task thing but it is something that I want to do regularly um, and so I put this in mind um, to do quarterly seasonally so I did it last on February 28th so three months later it's gonna remind me on May 28th and here's a reminder and yeah that's basically it okay so like I said uh, this will be down below uh, so that you can duplicate it into your own Notion workspace. Um, and again, add all the tasks that you want. I'm in a one bedroom, so it's not really super beneficial yet for me to be breaking it down by room. But if you have a two story house and, you know, the, two, the second story doesn't get used that much. And so you only want to vacuum that once a month, but the, the first story is used all the time. So you want to vacuum that weekly, like then you can break it down further that way. Um, but again, this is just, you have free reign to add any tasks that you want, um, do them as often or not as often as you would like. Um, but I, again, as I said in the beginning as well, it really is helpful to me to have a record of what I've done. So come the weekend, I don't have to be like, oh shoot, what do I need to clean? Did I do that already? It has something been um, pushed aside and now it's really not clean and now it needs a deep clean. Now it's gonna take me longer. Um, this really helps keep me accountable and um, just helps things move along a lot quicker. And when when the weekend comes, because most of my tasks end up being on the weekend, um, like cleaning out the fridge, it only takes me five minutes because I, I just cleaned it out like a month ago and there wasn't that much time for things to pile up and things to get old or, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so that's why I really like it. Okay. And I hope you enjoy it too. So don't forget it's down below, duplicate it into your own notion. 
uh, workspace and adjust it to your heart's desire. Let me know how you like it, okay? Come back, leave me a comment, tell me what you like. If you think of another feature that you think would be cool to have, let me know and I can add it. Um, but other than that, I just wanna say thank you again for tuning in to another YouTube video. I hope you find this beneficial. Uh, consider subscribing, sharing it with somebody that you think might benefit as well. Like button, notification bell, all that good stuff, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.